Hi everyone, and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about the scientific method. The scientific method is simply a set of techniques used to ask and answer scientific questions. The scientific method starts with making an observation. For example, let's say that you go over to a friend's house and you start sneezing. You also observe that your friend has a dog. Then it's time to propose a hypothesis. So you might hypothesize that you are allergic to dogs. The next step is to conduct an experiment. This may be when you go over to other friends' houses who have dogs to see if you also have an allergic reaction. Following the experiment, it's then time to draw a conclusion. You may conclude that because you had allergies at all of the houses of your friends who had dogs, that you are allergic to dogs. However, perhaps you visited some friends' houses where they had dogs and you had no allergic reaction. If this happens, depending on the conclusion that you draw, you may find that you have to go back and modify your hypothesis. That is, if you found that you weren't having allergic reactions in the presence of all dogs, you may think that you're only allergic to a certain kind of dog, or perhaps the original friend who had the dog also had a cat or a specific kind of plant, or cigarette smoke, or some other environmental factor that could have caused your allergies. So you see that the scientific method is a cyclical process. You start at one end, you go through the different steps, and depending on the results of the experiment and the conclusion that you draw, you may have to go back and formulate another hypothesis and go through the process again until you answer your original question. So that is the steps of the scientific method. I hope you learned a lot, and thanks for watching Biology Professor.